this is an introduction to the Gold Source Programming setting up Visual Studio. Now, Visual Studio, or rather Visual Studio Express for the free version, is a program provided by Microsoft for free or for a paid version if you'd rather for the go for the ultimate or professional packages. Um, is an integrated development environment or an IDE which allows you to modify and edit uh, C, C++, C Sharp, F Sharp, all these crazy languages. Um, inside this, basically it's a giant text editor that lets you debug and configure games to your liking from a coding point of view, of course. Now, for this tutorial, what we're actually going to need is uh, Visual Studio. You can have anything from 2010 upwards. That could be 2010, 2012, and 2013. And I guess by the time you're watching this tutorial, 2015 will be on the show. So, um, I will provide the link to Visual Studio, Visual Studio Express, uh, which sh probably shouldn't change too much over the years. Um, you should always be able to find a download on the internet anyway. Really, what you want to find though in this page is. Um, Express 2013 for Windows Desktop. So download this and install it. And once you've got that installed, the next thing you're going to need is to go to GitHub, uh, Valve Software, and Half Life. And either whether you use Git, if you're you're used to using Git, uh, clone it in your desktop, or simply download the zip file, which will give you the master branch, which is the most up to date version of the Half Life SDK. Uh, once you've got that done, you will have a zip file that you can extract to somewhere on your computer. Uh, I, I would recommend you keep them all in some kind of projects folder for ease of use, and would you would also use some kind of subversion or versioning program system, such as Perforce, uh, Tortoise SVN, or Git, for um, creating safe backups on a different hard drive for your projects. Uh, enough said about that. Once you download the and extract the Half-Life Master, you present it with these files, which is basically the whole SDK. You will find some useful information in the README and the license, uh, as well as um, noting that the actual project file itself is inside projects. Now it was last set up for Visual Studio 2010, um, so if you have any ID from that version upwards you should be able to open this file so once you've got Visual Studio installed let me check it out uh, Express there you go. Visual Studio Express 2013 for Windows Desktop now once you probably open it the first time it won't be dark skinned it's probably going to be white and your eyes are going to be bleeding after 5 minutes of trying to read code in that window I would highly suggest going to tools options, environment, general, and changing the color theme to dark. It's just a lot easier to read the code and you could probably spend a lot more time with the computer <laughs> without your eyes bleeding. Um, so so much about that anyway. What you want to do then in your projects file is you know, either open the projects SLN through the file menu or just drag it into Visual Studio and it's going to go through the process of um, converting it up to a Visual th 2013 solution file. You'll also notice that we have not one but six dynamic linked libraries. If you're not sure what that is, really don't worry about it, but Google it. Uh, basically it's just um, a library file that an executable uses to read code from in order to uh, play games. This is guess how mods work pretty well. You've got your original Half-Life EXE, which is basically the engine and everything underneath, rendering and such. And this is like a plugin uh, library that you add alongside that it reads code from for game code, I guess, game information, rules, etc. Now, the only one you really need to worry about is actually the one highlighted or should be highlighted in bold, which is Half-Life DLL. If you wanted to change any items in the Half-Life uh, GUI, the VGUI system and the HUD, you can look inside the, the CDLL, the client DLL, and make some changes there. But for us, really, just forget everything else except the Half-Life DLL. Unless, of course, you, you want to work with Ricochet, 
or deathmatch deathmatch classic. Okay, so if it's not set as the startup project, which makes it bold, just simply set it as a startup project. Now, what I like to do first of all is go to my configuration and go to the properties and under general I'd rather change my output directory because right now it's been placed um, I'm not actually sure where it's been placed it's probably been placed inside the project folder cdll and it would build in here somewhere or under dlls even honestly I'm not sure but what I'd want is to place it somewhere else which is in Half-Life itself um, I'll go to the file folder under DLLs and I'm going to just place it so that it replaces the original Half-Life DLL you might want to do this but if you're modding and you just want to get up and running and see how things work this is a good place to start it's straight, you know, no bullshit, no messing around replace the file that, that uh, controls the game and from then on you can make some changes and if you want to from then on set it to change to a different DLL with uh, the name of your mod you're more than welcome to do that and it's a very easy process but for us let's take this directory which is your steam steam apps common half-life valve DLL directory I don't know so we're gonna paste it in there and enter and that's all you have to change there note that it's changing the half-life or not changing but creating a half-life DLL file now if you want to actually debug the game which is which it is possible you have to go to debugging uh, let's change the target path now this is going to be a similar path to the one we saw before um, simply go up to half-life let's copy that directory and paste that in there but at the very end let's append the actual exe if we want to debug with which will be hl.exe we're actually going to provide some command line arguments to this at least I prefer to do this windowed dev and debug and we should also set the working directory or sorry the project yes the working directory to be half-life there's no harm and then we hit apply now we're actually going to have an error now when we try to run this game first time for an unrelated reason but I'm going to just run it now or build it to show you how to do this so we'll go to build uh, project only let's tell it just to build uh, the Half-Life DLL so that it doesn't go and build these other libraries that you don't actually need to play the game or to edit the game and it's going to take a few minutes to actually go through and build each file but it actually tends to be because it's such an old engine from I guess 1996, 1998 that it's pretty fast on newer higher end machines unlike uh, the likes of trying to compile the cry engine or unreal engine 4 which can take up to half an hour on some machines even the higher end ones depending on what exactly you're trying to compile and okay here we go we have one error and okay, of course we've got 186 warnings these are about old and for the most part possibly defunct um, functions of visual studio and or c++ since they're warnings though you don't really need to worry about them so you can just click them off another error here we have what we the error actually is it's calling or trying to call file copy dot bat and to, to copy um, the files to an area that doesn't exist or does not work well, simply under half-life dll under projects um, under build events it's a post build event it's trying to call this batch file which you can go and read if you want and try to figure out if you like but honestly it there's no need unless you are you want to have multiple copies of your DLL lying around and this post event occurring um, you can leave it running and change it to edit for work for yourself but I simply just turn it off since we're editing the actual DLL itself and if you have this these files already added to Perforce or git or tortoise SVN you're not gonna need to worry about this kind of thing anyway because you're already gonna have a backup if you've committed your changes so let's turn that off and let's try to build Half-Life DLL and this time it's saying succeeded which is good now let's try and run the actual game with our uh, newly created uh, library of first things first we actually see we've got an error but actually I should mention how do we know that we've actually edited the, the library so in 
go into your game for all DLLs, click on Half Life DLL, and you'll see the timestamp. Um, the twenty second of the second, two thousand fifteen, at seventeen forty nine. Yes, that was two minutes ago that I built it. So, it's a fairly new file. Back to the main problem we have here, which is that there's a fatal error. What causes this is that you have to have Steam running, and of course a copy of the actual game installed. So let me turn on Steam. Oops. And I think this will also work if you're in offline mode. Okay. Let's run the debugger. It's not going to have an error because it's going to find that you actually have the game. And here we have it. So we're working with our new DLL inside Half Life. Okay, so next things to check is to actually make an edit to the DLL itself. So you don't need to be a, a wizard at C++ to understand some basic things, but I would recommend you get a, a book or find a good online series to watch, which will bring you through the basics of C++, and then after which you can come back to working with uh, my tutorials and <laughs> they might make some more sense to you but okay enough mumbling i guess i should go to half-life dll we've got our header files and our source files we need to go into the source files and under the dll let's look for player wherever that is player let's open that up let's search for uh, let's say uh, jump player jumps right so let's jump no that's not what i'm looking for here we go switch statement player jumps and now I'd like to have it as hop. Fine. So in here, let's add uh, a message um, that will show up on the HUD of the game. I already have it here copied, so I'm just going to copy it over. And uh, basically when we jump, it's going to print Hello Half-Life in the top left-hand corner. So basically what you're doing here is copying uh, the util, client print all, to print on the HUD this message. This argument. Okay, simple enough, right? So, what you have to do is you can hit play again, it's going to tell you that it's out of date. You want to build it, say yes, it's going to build it, and it's going to run the game. You can load a game and auto save from before. And once you're in and you jump, one, two, three, jump, and Hello Half Life is in the top left hand corner. Jump again, and then we have Half Life in the top right hand corner, left hand corner again. So, um, that's really just a basic overview on how to set up the Visual Studio Editor to work with uh, very basic um, edits to Half Life or the Gold Source Engine for that matter. Now, I am going to continue creating tutorials to the best of my abilities over the next few weeks and months for gold source and eventually source uh, if you have any requests please let me know head over to sourcemodding.com actually I'll just show you real quick um, the website of course is a work in development but um, yeah, it's, it's getting there uh, recently just published one for uh, Jed's Half-Life Model Viewer uh, but you can find some useful information there and tutorials and history of gold source, source valve, etc. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for um, watching this tutorial and I uh, look forward to reading your comments if any. Please head over to my forums, they're very bare at the moment and I'd like to fill them up. Um, and uh, take care.